I have a magnetic device that can magnify a coil's field by a factor of three, four, or five or more in certain circumstances. Before going into testing, I will show the steps leading up into the discovery of the device. Over a hundred years ago, Gary's magnet motor on the internet. He'd worked with permanent magnets, well aware of the north and south faces. And he discovered that when the two faces join together, there's a cancellation, or more often, a balancing of the two fields. We've come into that point, we'll discover a neutral line that extends the whole way around the perimeter of the magnet. Experience no pull. To each side you will feel a paper clip pulled to side to side. So the two forces, north and south, are balanced. I found that when I had either two or four magnets put together, we had two intersecting neutral lines. Instead of a line in the center, there was a zone created. This neutral zone is about a quarter inch in diameter or more. Feel no pull. Yet to side to side, you will feel the pull of the magnet field. What came to mind was, if I would place an electromagnet at that point, with the expanding magnetic field from the coil, react and have an addition summation effect with the permanent magnet field around it, thus accessing some of the free energy in a, in a permanent magnet field. I come up with a combination of magnets. These are Radio Shack ceramic magnets. I'll put two layers together to boost the field somewhat. I used some wooden stops, glued them on, super glue so I can break them off easily and readjust. I found out that even a quarter inch, an eighth of an inch, would throw the results off. First of all, I put the electromagnet and energized it when it was in the neutral zone. Because the neutral zone comes outward, I experienced no gain. The next was I would shift it little bit by little bit into the permanent magnets field. I found a place where both were pretty much balanced out. Half the post was in the neutral zone, half the post was in the permanent magnet field. I found some interesting results. In order to see if I had any overunity results, I had to find an input and an output and see if one was greater than the other. First of all, I would have the coil plus the magnets unenergized. I had a reading of zero. The other part of my input would be the coil itself, energized, and see what weight we can pull. To make this easier, more symbolic, I used each weight as a penny. So we see if we can lift up one penny's worth of weight. Coil itself is 160 ohms. I'm on a 3 volt scale. I have a small wall adapter. We're still going to call this one. So we can pull one penny's worth of weight. 
coiled cell. These two were my input. My output now was the coil energized in the ZEM mode or on the magnets. Okay. Pulling about 20 milliamp. pennies worth there. I'm going to put a total of four. This is a nice system using a pipe cleaner. Calling the top is one, two, three, four. We have four pennies worth of weight. for four pennies and we'll try six may have to drop one we'll try for six this showed me something definitely was going on I was experiencing greater output than input all the time without any additional current or power drawn from the power source. maximum. And I have to put a five. Sometimes this will drop down a little bit the uh, the wall transformer and also the coil heats up a little bit and produces a little bit more resistance to the current so it'll drop sometimes. But whether the coil was on the magnet or off we drew the same amount of current. Of course, we can't, can't do anything with this like that. And also, unenergized, we do not experience any also. But when energized, effect going on. This is where it's good to have some aspirins nearby. <laughs> These things are a lot of headaches sometimes, but they're a lot of fun. So here I was able to have an output of five, input of one, all the while without any additional current or power, power source. I call this a ZEM, ZMM, Zone Magnet Magnifier. I hope you'll be able to improve on this design, possibly use it for electric motor, other magnetic devices. Thank you very much.